So we have had a lot of interesting conversation about these two terms that seem to be floating around now. One is the functional medicine term, and the other is the personal lifestyle medicine term. How does personalized lifestyle medicine and functional medicine coexist in the same universe? Well, quite honestly, they don't just coexist. They're actually convoluted together. They are absolutely joined at the hip, and I'll tell you how. The way they're joined is the following. And I, this has been my experience in having to been one of the conveners of the functional medicine movement back in the 1990 period, is that when I get in an elevator and someone says, what do you do? And I say, I'm involved with the Institute for Functional Medicine. And they go, ah, oh, interesting. What's functional medicine? And we haven't yet gotten from one floor to the yet. So I'll, here I am. Now I have a couple of floors to describe functional medicine. And the answer is, unless there's 100 floors between where we start the conversation and when it ends the conversation, I can't adequately describe what functional medicine is. It's a complex concept to describe in a soundbite. At least that's been my experience, and I think that's been shared by a lot of other individuals. It requires more explanation to really understand the concept of systems biology and medicine, looking for the cause rather than the effect, treating the uh, underlying physiological uh, uh, dysfunction. These are, these are not obvious uh, things that people understand unless you kind of give a little bit more explication. So now let's go over to the other side of the equation, which is personalized lifestyle medicine or healthcare. What about that? Well, what I found over the last several years of using that term, and by the way, we were, interestingly enough, the first group to publish a medical paper in the peer-reviewed literature with the, ter the term personalized lifestyle medicine, which sounds amazing, but it was true. In 2013, it was the first use in all of the millions of National Library of Medicine articles. That was the first time that term had been used. But what I have found is that when I try that term on people, they understand something about personalized, they understand something about lifestyle, and they could see how it might connect to healthcare or medicine. So immediately on this elevator ride that we're going up together, when I do personalized lifestyle medicine, they say, oh yeah, that sounds interesting. Tell me a little bit more about it. So therefore, in a short number of floors on an elevator ride, I can get their attention. Whereas if I was to go into the functional medicine model, it would require a lot more floors in the elevator ride for them to get an understanding. Now how do these two things connect together? If you want to recruit people into the concept that their understanding of how their genes and environment and lifestyle interact to give rise to their health, then you need to have some way of expressing it simply in a soundbite that begs them to ask the question, what does that mean? They want to know more. And that aggregating principle, I think, is personalized lifestyle medicine. But then, once they understand that, they say, well, how do I do this? It needs an operating system, doesn't it, for its application. And what is the operating system? Aha, it's functional medicine. So the practitioners get trained on the systems biology approach to delivering to practice the concept called functional medicine, whereas the consumers and the broad array of individuals are introduced into the concept, let's call it the top of the funnel, by personalized lifestyle healthcare. So we get them interested to ask the right questions, and then we deliver an operating system that will absolutely be able to produce an outcome that is using this technology and this concept effectively. So therefore, personalized lifestyle medicine is, we consider, the calling card to aggregate to a broader population to go from a pond to a lake to a sea to an ocean of understanding that will get then to the practitioner, the delivery system called functional medicine. So I think that they work together hand in hand, they're locked at the hips, and our objective is to scale and grow and build this as a revolution in healthcare by getting more people understanding what this can offer to them and then delivering the highest quality of practice through functional medicine through these practitioners.